when they set their wedding date on the nerdiest of holidays, <laughs> May the 4th, that a Star Wars reference would come out. And the Crocs are not Star Wars people. So I'm gonna try to relay my own Star Wars reference for you guys. Um, to quote the great John Luke Picard, for the yeah! planet Battlestar Galactica, yes! space has a lot of stars and there's a galaxy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, most of you who have the pleasure of knowing me, I am Austin's brother. And you will probably assume that I take this opportunity to only talk about myself. But no, this is Austin and Isla's day. It would be cruel of me to take this opportunity just to talk about me. Me, a jack of all trades, a wonderful father, a doting husband, and a passionate admirer of Nicolas Cage. <laughs> but no, no, this is Austin and Nyla's death. Austin, did I mention I remodeled my house with my bare hands, with reckless abandon, no regards for personal safety, enduring the pain of many hammers, circular saws, what have you. I did that, thank you. But no, sorry. This is Austin and Nyla's day. Nyla, you know, one time I had a basketball game and I made six three-pointers. I was shooting like 80% that game. Just saying. Look at me, I'm white, man. It shouldn't happen, but it did. Look, I'm very proud to be here today and to talk about my best friend, my brother. I think it's rare that two brothers end up being best friends. Especially rare when the middle child, the often neglected, and rightfully so, <laughs> and the youngest, who is obviously the favorite, can become such friends. But somehow, Austin was able to overlook them. We lived together for the better part of 30 years. And most of my favorite memories involve my brother. My oldest is of Austin and I getting together every Monday night when I was about 10 years old. We would watch WWF Monday Night Raw during the Attitude Era with phenoms such as Stone Cold Steve Austin, no relation, The Rock, and even Gold Dust. That's a reference for me and Austin. Austin has always been there for all of my major milestones, birthdays, graduations, and my wedding. My highest of highs and my lowest of lows, he's always been there for me. He wasn't there for the conception of my beautiful son, Maverick. <laughs> but I half expected him to not be there, so I'm not gonna hold that against him. <laughs> now, speaking of weddings, I've been married to my beautiful wife, Lindsay, for about five years now. The two of you will quickly learn that it's one of the most rewarding, challenging, amazing, and dare I say magical steps in your journey through life. Now, since we are in Mexico, and we have some non-native English speakers, I figured I'd have Lindsay come up here to translate. 